Mr. President, anyone who drives around the state of Vermont, or for that matter, drives around America, understands that to a significant degree, our infrastructure is collapsing. In Vermont, we have dozens and dozens and dozens of bridges that are in need of repair. We have many, many hundreds of miles of road that need repair. Our public transit system needs help. And what this bill is about is a start toward rebuilding our crumbling infrastructure, our roads, our bridges, our public transit, and in the process, putting a significant number of people back to work. It is estimated that this bill will save more than 1.8 million jobs nationwide in each of the next three years, and it will create a million new jobs through an expanded infrastructure financing program. And what that means in the state of Vermont are thousands and thousands of decent paying construction and other types of jobs, something that we sorely need. So this bill is enormously important. It is an excellent start. Does it go as far as it should? No, it does not. Compared to China, compared to Europe, our investments in infrastructure are minimal. And when you invest in infrastructure, you make your country more productive, you put people back to work, we make ourselves more internationally competitive. So I just want to say that this is an important step forward. We've got more to do. Today, we focus on roads, bridges, public transit, very important. But that's not the entire infrastructure. We have got to pick up the issue on rail. We are falling further and further behind China, Japan, Europe in terms of high-speed rail. We've got to invest in rail, create jobs doing that. We have to invest in our water systems, in our wastewater plants. We have to make sure that every community in America has high-quality broadband as well as cell phone service. That's what infrastructure is about. We have not invested anywhere near the degree till we should, and now is the time to get started.